I'm Ben Brown with ABC 15, and today we're getting an exclusive look inside TSMC. Semiconductors are basically everything uh, that um, in your uh, phone, in your computers, um, it's the brains of everything that has a, a power switch and anything that needs compute. In the heart of the desert, some of the country's most advanced chips are born, and it's no easy feat. Making a wafer is the most complicated manufacturing process in the world. I can't imagine anything else more difficult than this. Up to 4,000 precise steps and just one slip. You're done. You have to start from the beginning. Basically, these wafers cannot be used anymore. What makes TSMC different? They don't design the chips. They build them customized for clients. That goes back to our Pure Play Foundry model. We have very uh, in-depth discussions about how they want their chips to perform, if they want to be able to have um, you know, different types of transistors, if they want different types of metal layers. But in the end, it's their design and we manufacture for them. The magic happens inside the clean room, a tightly controlled environment where chips are created, tested, and perfected. It takes workers like Sterling to make sure what's promised is delivered. He's an EBO mask technician, essentially quality assurance. What I'm doing is on a EUV is basically an electric ultraviolet beam. That's EBO, electric ultraviolet beam. And I'm looking th through this scope and I'm looking at all these different things. Again, trying to make sure that exactly how we have our pattern is how they have their map. TSMC's first fab is up and running in Phoenix, making four nanometer chips, and they're just getting started, announcing earlier this year another $100 billion investment. They'll ultimately have six fabs, a research and development center, and two advanced packaging facilities. When should we expect to see these other fabs get operational? So, fab two, we will be starting to move in equipment soon. For Fab 3, you can see that the building uh, excavation has started and we will be hopefully moving uh, that construction as quickly as possible. The goal, Fab 2 by 2028, Fab 3 by decade's end. ABC 15 got some of the first looks at the Fab 3 construction. What would be the goal target date to have all six fabs up and operational with this packaging facility. I think that it's going to take us a little bit of time to be able to get all of the, the permits and all of the construction crews that we need, but there's a huge demand, almost insatiable demand for AI and high performance computing. And so we'll be doing everything we can to make that a uh, reality as soon as possible. In our next story, ABC 15 will look at the massive workforce it takes to operate TSMC and later this week, how they try to conserve energy and water knowing we're in a desert. Ben Brown, ABC 15, Arizona.